Welcome to another wonderful lesson. Last class, we talked about cooking tools and equipment. In today's class, we are learning our cleaning agent for cooking tools and equipment. Equipment are material for household maintenance, are used for removing dust and dirt from various articles and surfaces in the home. As a homemaker, you should learn about these materials and be able to use them very well. There are other different types of cleaning agents and equipment. Some agents are harmful to one type of surface, but good for others. There are also many commercial cleaning agents. Others are homemade agents. Let's look at the meaning of cleaning agents. What does cleaning agents mean? Cleaning agents or hard surface cleaner are substances, usually liquids, powders, spray, or granules. They are used to remove dirt, including dust, stains, bad smells, and other clutters on the surface. Cleaning agent purpose include hurt, beauty, removing offensive odor, and avoiding the spread of dirt and contaminants to oneself and others. Some cleaning agents can kill bacteria, example, the bacteria that is on door handle, and as well as bacteria on worktops and other metallic surface, and clean at the same time. What are the classification of cleaning agents? Different cleaning agents are used depending on the items to be cleaned, the cleaning method, and the types of soiling found on the item. Cleaning agents can be classified as solvents, detergents, abrasive, and acidics. We're starting with solvents. What do we mean by solvent cleaner or cleaning agents? Solvents are the substances which remove dirt by liquefying it and holding it in a suspension. Example, we have water, grease uh, solvents. Cleaning solvents are also used to remove grease from surface such as oven, countertop, in the past, methylated spirit or white spirit were commonly used as degreasers, but not longer in use now. Now, they make use of non-toxic to prevent chemical contamination. Now, for the solvents, water is an example of it, and it can dissolve dirt. It can also combine with detergent to remove greasing dirt. Now, when we look at methylated spirits, like I mentioned that they use them in the past, paraffina or some petine, this one I used to dissolve grease and evaporate and carry the dirt with them. But one has to be careful because the grease solvents are inflammable and should be, not be used near naked fire. Second classes of cleaning agents, detergents. Detergents are used to aid the removal of grease and dirt. They are used in a commercial kitchen, usually um, synthetic detergent made from petroleum products and may be in the form of powder, liquid, gel, or crystals. Example, soap and synthetic detergents Haki soap, Omo, elephants, and also the liquid detergents. They are used in a laundry work, also for washing up in the kitchen, for cleaning room. We also have Apic. Apic also, we can use it for cleaning toilets, bowl. So all these detergents, they come in liquid form, powder, gel, or crystals. Abrasive cleaning agents. 
And breast cleaning agents are substances or chemicals that depend on rubbing or scrubbing action to clean dirt from hard surface. In a commercial kitchen, abrasive are usually used to clean floors, pots, and pan. Also, abrasive are used by rubbing off dirt through fixture, that is vim and sandpaper. One should be very careful when you are handling abrasive cleaning agents. Why? Because they may scratch certain types of materials used for kitchen equipment, such as plastic or stainless steel. Example of abrasive, we have the vim, the sandpaper, bristle, sivo, stiff wood, and so on. They are used for scrawling bath soaps, skins, cuts, pan. They are also used for cleaning braids and the silverware. For more resistance metal cooking utensils like pots and pan, you can also make use of an abrasive. And also, you can make use of abrasive cleaning agent for metal or such as uh, steel and black aluminium. That is the pots that are very black at the back, like those people that make use of stove or firewood. So you can make use of this abrasive to clean them. Acidic cleaning agents. Acidic cleaners are the most powerful types of cleaning agents and should be used with care. If they are not properly dissolved, acidic cleaners can be very poisonous and destructive. They are generally used for removing mineral deposits. Also, they are useful for removing dirt from dishwashers and rust from restroom facility. Know that cleaning is the only first step to a jam-free kitchen. Cleaning is done using the cleaning agents to kill the bacteria or other microorganisms that can cause food poisoning. Guidelines for the use of cleaning agents. Many cleaning solutions can burn your skin. Most people know that acids burn, and you may not even realize that strong alkalines are also harmful. The precaution you need is to keep yourself and your possession safe. Let's look at the guidelines that we have here. Choose. Choose the correct cleaning agent for the surface to be clean. Make sure that you choose the particular cleaning agent that will be good for what you want to clean. Read. Read labels and instruction on the commercial cleaning agent before use. Always read the label properly. Take your time and of properly to read them before you start using the cleaning agents. Follow. Follow the direction carefully. Whatever um, guidelines that they put it to, to use it, make sure you follow the direction. Also, avoid wastage. Avoid wastage. Don't just use them anyhow. Clean. Um, make sure that you store cleaning agents uh, properly. Keep them away from the reach of the children. Like we talked about the acidic, they are very dangerous. So the, those things, the cleaning agent that you know that they are very harmful and dangerous, please, you have to keep them away from the reach of the children. Label all the cleaning agent properly so that you'll be able to identify them. Also, open windows to ventilate um, where you are working. Wear gloves and high protection if advised. Protect your clothes and surface from splashing. Warning. Do not mix cleaning products combining chemical because it will not make a super cleaner. Guidelines for the use of cleaning agents. Many cleaning solutions can burn your skin. Most people know that acids burn 
and you may not even realize that strong alkalines are also harmful. The precaution you need is to keep yourself and your possession safe. Let's look at the guidelines that we have here. Choose. Choose the correct cleaning agent for the surface to be clean. Make sure that you choose the particular cleaning agent that will be good for what you want to clean. Read. Read labels and instructions on the commercial cleaning agent before use. Always read the label properly. Take your time and the properly to read them before you start using the cleaning agents. Follow. Follow the direction carefully. Whatever um, guidelines that they put it to, to use it, make sure you follow the direction. Also, avoid wastage. Avoid wastage. Don't just use them anyhow. Clean. Um, make sure that you store cleaning agents uh, properly. Keep them away from the reach of the children. Like we talked about the acidic. They are very dangerous. So the, those things, the cleaning agent that you know that they are very harmful and dangerous, please, you have to keep them away from the reach of the children. Label all the cleaning agent properly so that you'll be able to identify them. Also, open windows to ventilate um, where you are working. Wear gloves and high protection if advised. Protect your clothes and surface from splashing. Warning, do not mix cleaning products combining chemical because it will not make a super cleaner. Thanks for watching. Let's uh, summarize what we did today. We look at cleaning agents. We talked about the meaning of cleaning agents and also the purpose of cleaning agents as an health, beauty, removing offensive odor and avoiding the spread of death and contaminants on oneself and odor. We look at the classification of cleaning agents. We talked about solvents, detergents, abrasive and acidic and we said that solvents are used to remove grease from the surface that they are used to dissolve dead um, combined with detergent to remove grease in this we talk about detergents that detergents are useful in laundry work they are used for washing up in the kitchen for cleaning room surface and for cleaning toilets bowl we said that abrasive that they are used for squaring battle and that one should be very careful when you are handling them because they can scratch some certain types of material with that they are, they are used for cleaning a more resistance metal cooking um, utensils we also talked about the acidic that acidic i use um for removing uh, mineral deposits and they are useful for also removing dirt um, from dishwashers and rust from restroom facility we look at the guidelines uh, for the use of uh, cleaning agents that we should make sure we choose the correct uh, cleaning agents. We read the instruction. We follow the direction carefully. We try as much as possible to avoid wastage and we make sure that we store the cleaning agent properly. And above all, we should keep them away from the reach of children and all our cleaning agents must be labeled properly. Remember, don't underestimate the dangers of cleaning agents, especially those that contain chloroquine. Wonderful cleaning agents can cause not so wonderful damage to your possession and to yourself. Ensure you do your assignments and have fun with the game. Be healthy and be safe.